welcome to today's vlog i am going out like middle of the day so i won't be able to vlog much tonight but i thought i would pick up the camera and show you guys my morning since i'll be doing quite a bit of things and i just wanted to talk and update you guys so starting off it's currently 7 58 and i am going to leave my house i'm gonna go pick up rosina and then we're gonna go to the gym she used to be my little gym buddy in like february when we were both like so intense with going but then we both kind of fell off and started going less but now we're picking up the pace again i'm quickly just gonna grab something to eat i think we literally have like muffins or something so i'm gonna have one of those and then drive over some other fun stuff that we're doing today is i bought an apple watch and i don't have time to set it up right now but we'll set it up later i just got a package in from our deans with a bunch of summer clothes i want to show you guys to wake up at 5 50 so i could get her at like 6 15 that did not work out then i tried waking up at 7 that did not work out i ended up waking up at 7 36 but i was having a really good dream so that's that and this is my little pre-workout snack look at this bowl not very classy this is the only thing i could think of that was kind of like locale easy to work out on and that is two rice cakes with hummus and like half a muffin with jam. Let's get going. She's literally gonna be like, girl, where are you? <laughs> Even though we've both been falling back asleep. Also look my nails, took them all off to get them done so bad. Let's get going. Okay, I just got to Rosina's house. I'm gonna wait for her. We're gonna take some pre-workout, sour watermelon pre-workout. Basically, it just gets you hyped up and pumped up and energy flowing for when you work out. And I always feel like it doesn't make a difference, but when I do use it, I go off in the gym. So I'm gonna use today, but definitely don't take this unless you've read all this stuff because I feel like there's so many different like warnings before you take this. I feel like it's so hard to be motivated to go to the gym right now, especially because the weather here hasn't been very good, but I'm excited because the next week is gonna be super sunny. I'm gonna work on my tan. Not that I'm trying to get like skin issues, but you know, a little bronze here and there. Do want that. It's literally only Tuesday today, but I'm so excited for this upcoming weekend because it's Rosina's birthday actually, and she's having a 2000s themed party. Also, sorry, I'm chewing gum and I can't talk and chew gum at the same time, but it should be really fun. And there's just so many good things happening this month and I'm really excited. I'm gonna vlog a lot of it. Let me know if you guys like watching me go to the gym because I don't wanna make my content repetitive. So I'm like, do people even wanna watch me go to the gym? I feel like I vlog the same stuff in every vlog but then again might be motivating and you'll be like oh i should work out i don't know honestly take what you will from it because i don't even work out every single day but i know seeing other people work out motivates me work out so let me know do i keep the workouts in all the videos or do less of it because you guys know that i'm doing it but it's not like you need to watch it since it can get repetitive let me know i'm very curious i'm gonna put my pre-workout in my drink while i wait for her to come out this is my water bottle <laughs> i don't really know if it's i feel like it's more for like putting smoothies and stuff in it but oh <coughs> Every time I open this container, like the stuff goes in my nose. I also hate the taste of this pre-workout. You know when you have yogurt and you get like a film in your mouth, like the roof of your mouth? That's what this pre-workout tastes like. Like I have a film of sour watermelon in my mouth. I'm gonna put this in there. Also, sorry you guys can probably see my dirty car. <coughs> <I'm> joking. <laughs> Rosina's here, she looks so cute. Hey queen. Let's just do my pre-workout. Choke it a little bit. I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I feel way more awake now. Yeah, I was <laughs> saying it was kind of a fail. Like, I literally woke up at 5.50 to try to, like... <laughs> I woke up at, like, 6.15. I saw your text and I was like, ugh. Yesterday we went to the gym, and I was so sore this morning. Like, I was laying down, and I was like, ugh. <laughs> I couldn't even move. Mm -hmm. I oh. felt really sore this morning when I woke up. I was like laying there i was like i don't think i can get in a routine yeah <laughs> oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry i'm sorry ah, they're home. i'm sorry i'm sorry okay. seat belt. they're like what the freak is there a camera on your dashboard and you guys are in the middle of the road oh, that's good look <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just got home. That was a great workout. I actually did film my workout, but I checked my phone and it's not on there. So I don't know if it didn't save. I mean, I have no storage, so I wouldn't be surprised. We were only there for like an hour, but I just got home. I got a text from my manager and she's asking for me to send her some insights to some of these IG posts for brand deals. So I'm gonna do that right now. 
Okay, I just sent that over to her and I'm gonna write a to-do list. Battery is flashing, so we'll do this quickly together and then hopefully it doesn't die or I will be very upset. Okay, I need to send some emails. I need to clean my room. I need to shower, set up Apple Watch, edit intro for video, upload video, send for approval. Oh, I also need to make a thumbnail. I don't think I can post this video today. I was gonna post a video today, but I don't think I can do it because I have so much stuff to do and normally I like to post my videos before 12. So don't think that's gonna happen, but I will try to do all these things for tomorrow and I'll post tomorrow. Okay, I'm out of my shower. Let's just open this Apple Watch. It's gonna be a little unboxing. I basically got really the bare minimum. I didn't want to get something like super expensive because I just have a feeling that when I'm on my day to day and I'm trying to make like these fits, I'm gonna be like, yo, this Apple Watch doesn't match my aesthetic and then I won't want to wear it. So it's like, I don't want to spend that much money on something that I potentially won't wear every single day. Also, if I'm gonna go take photos or whatever, like I'm just gonna be taking it on and off for the other majority of the day, like when I'm working out or my day to day life, I want to wear it and I don't really want it to be too bulky. I got the smaller version and I also got the series three just because I don't really need all the fancy features on it. Let's see it. Ah, I got the space gray. Actually, bro. <laughs> Should I just, do I like it? Is this the smaller one? I'm so confused right now. Does this look right? I don't know if I like this. If you guys watched me unboxing my iPhone 12, I literally went back to the store like three times because I couldn't decide on a color. And they really out here giving me the wrong one. Guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna send a video to my friends and ask them their opinion. I just opened my Apple Watch and they gave me silver and I had asked for space gray. So, do you like this? Is it worth going back to return or should I just keep it? Like, I don't know if I like the silver. Does that look bad? Should I get the space gray or should I just keep this? I and mean, I already opened it. Wait, I'm gonna wait till my friends respond. And my mom just made me some breakfast or lunch, whatever you wanna call it. It's already 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna go eat that and then deal with the Apple Watch after. <laughs> back in my bed i'm just in a really bad mood right now like i feel like nothing's working out my room is a mess i don't even want to show you guys but i'm gonna clean it tonight because i have things to do right now i feel like my whole family keeps talking to me like i just have people in my ear at all times can't put my contacts in because i literally have a sty in my eye and i went to the eye doctor last week and they told me to like do all this stuff like put ointment put like these hot compresses and he told me it was gonna get worse before it got better anyways i don't have time for that right now because i had to do a lot of filming last week so i literally didn't do it and now i have my eye doctor like checkup in two days and it hasn't gotten better because I haven't done anything, but I'm not allowed to wear contacts, so I also can't see anything, which just makes me angry. The reason why I got it, so none of y'all tell me that, oh, you have dirty fingers and touching your eye. I went off-roading and I have a convertible car, so I'm always driving like in the wind, and I think like debris went inside my eyes. And then I got an infection or a sty, whatever. It's super small, it doesn't even hurt or anything, which is why it's concerning that it's still here because I feel like it's been there for like a month. Let's continue on with the Apple Watch. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep it because I'm kind of too lazy to go back to the store. Also, fun fact guys look at this hole that's on my wrist literally don't know how i got it i've had it since i can remember i don't think that's normal and i don't know why i have it so if anyone else has it please let me know are you kidding me my apple watch requires a newer version of ios okay you know what guys I don't have the energy or patience right now to finish setting this up. This unboxing was kind of a fail, but I guess you guys saw it. You know what it looks like. We'll deal with this later. I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on and then I'm gonna unbox the Ardeen stuff that I got because I'm really excited about that. But look at how cute. I got this whole box from Ardeen's. If you guys want to get something from Ardeen's, I do have a code. It's Fernanda20. You can get 20% off. Starting off, I know they sent me a bunch of swim stuff because they're having like a swim campaign about body positivity and like all that kind of stuff, which I think is super fun. This is the first bathing suit I got it's just plain black I honestly think that their bathing suits are really good quality and like you can't go wrong with these like simple bikinis and they're honestly very very inexpensive so I would definitely recommend checking out our jeans but this is like the black one that I got it's like this waffle material the bottoms just look like this they've got these little lines on the side which I think is super cute and very flattering <laughs> The next thing I got is this white bodysuit. These are perfect, honestly, for like just going out. I feel like they look really good under things. And even when you don't know what to wear, just throwing on a little bodysuit is just key. It even has like double layering and double layering under the boobs part so it won't show through. 
because I liked the fit of that so much, I got it in a different color as well, which is this like army color. Oh, I'm really holding it upside down. I think this is perfect for honestly like any season, but even I think like the fall time, I think these colors are so nice and I think they just like suit everybody. They're so soft. Next up, I got a little workout set because honestly I couldn't resist. I feel like every time I go buy something, I check if they have workout sets, especially these seamless ones and they do. So I got this little tank top looking thing. Very cute. I'm gonna do a hike tomorrow, so I honestly might wear this. And I also got these little cycling shorts to go along with it. They look kind of funny when they're off, but they fit very flattering. And since they're so like seamless, they honestly make everything look very nice and held together. <laughs> This is one of my faves. I think I'm definitely gonna be wearing this a lot on weekends. It is this black dress. It's like ribbed and it's got the whole ruching on the side where you like tie it with these strings so you can make it as short as you want or as long as you want. And honestly, high necks I feel like are just very classy and fitting on like every single person. So kind of my fave style. And then they also sent me over two little camis. So I think these are gonna be fun to wear just like whenever really if I'm around the house. This one is a light like heather gray and then it has a little thing on the side here. Um, it's super cute. It says think outside the box in pink and it's got a little blue smiley face So I'm gonna wear these and I think since they're like cropped It'll just be fun to wear whenever when I just need to throw something on And then I also got this blue one which I think is super cute There's like little flowers on it and I think blue really makes my eyes pop so honestly kind of love it they also sent me a pack of scrunchies. I feel like all these can match with some of the stuff that I showed you guys. And then the last thing I have here is this bathing suit, but I don't know where the top is. I think at the top's upstairs, so I'm gonna go find that. But look at how cool these bottoms are. They have the V, so you already know this is gonna look so flattering on you. And it also has these little adjustable things on the side, which just makes your waist look snatched. So let me go find the top and I'll be right back. And then this is what the top looks like. Super fun, I feel like a little mermaid wearing this, honestly. I look a little bit rough right now because I'm currently editing this video, but I just wanted to say, definitely go check out our Deans. I made this TikTok with them. Oh, you're somewhere out there, somewhere far away. I want to Those are my selects from last month when I also worked with them and I got a bunch of stuff from them. I really like that. I feel like they're making a comeback. Like I used to shop there when I was younger and then they removed that store from the mall. So I hadn't been there in so long and I feel like now I've seen it so much over my whole Instagram. Like so many people are wearing clothes from them and it's honestly so cute, super affordable and super trendy. Like I feel like they know all the trends. So yeah, I highly recommend you go check them out. Again, use my code Fernanda20 for 20% off if you guys want to be matching with me and we, and we can get some bathing suits from there because honestly that is my favorite thing probably out of this entire haul and the past hauls that I've done I've definitely been wearing those if you've seen them on my Instagram or on my TikTok um and yeah thank you so much for our Dean for sponsoring this video I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul let me know if you guys want to see more from them um but yeah let's get back to the video okay, I've literally changed again but I'm gonna do a face mask now it's the turmeric one it's good for dark spots and I just searched up a YouTube video I'm gonna put it down in the description box below and we're gonna try it together it says you need three tablespoons of turmeric powder I just bought this at Walmart three tablespoons of honey one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar one third of a lemon and three drops of tea tree oil which I just bought the other day oh wait oh no oh no I bought tea tree essential oil is that the same thing god damn it I bought a freaking deep I'm angry. I'm angry. I might have just ruined this. I might have just ruined this. Can you put essential oils on your face? Don't apply essential oils directly on your skin. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do it without the tea tree oil because I just searched up and there's another recipe online that doesn't involve it. You just need one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, one and a half teaspoon of honey, and then milk or yogurt. I'm gonna use Greek yogurt. So let's get all the ingredients and do it. Hey guys, I'm 
sitting here with this yellow stuff on my face. My camera didn't record the first clip of me talking about this. What I meant to say was, I don't know if I did this right because it's super runny and like watery. And I think I was supposed to try to go for a paste consistency. It also kind of stings. I think that's the apple cider vinegar. Well, I assume that you need to do this for like a week for it to actually show results. I just washed my hands and they're yellow. I have a feeling that this might not be good. Um, I'm gonna put a timer on for 10 minutes because I am honestly scared to go longer than that. And I'll talk to you guys when that's done. Okay, 15 minutes is up. I'm gonna wash my face and use a towel, not a white one. And then we'll see if there's any immediate effects. I, I really think my face is gonna be yellow, but I searched it up online. Apparently that's normal and it goes away in a few hours. <laughs> Wash my entire face. Um, I am yellow. Okay, I am yellow. But I'm gonna do it for a few more days. I'll update you guys in a different vlog to see if there's any update. But that is all that I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Kind of a random vlog, but I had a lot of fun filming today. So make sure you subscribe, like this video if you want more vlogs, and comment down below this emoji. I'll talk to you guys very shortly.